down the street with the brim pool way down low. Ain't no sound but the sound of his feet. Machine guns ready to go. Are you ready? Hey, are you better for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Out of the door where the bullets rip. To the sound of the beat, yeah. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone, and another one gone, and another one bites the dust, yeah. Hey, gonna get you too, another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Hey, hey! Another one bites the dust. Now, another one bites the dust. One Bites the Dust by Queen, a little collab with my friends at Produce Like a Pro. Hey, everybody, it's me and my rosy cheeks, and we wanted to talk to you a little bit about how I recorded my part for that particular recording of Another One Bites the Dust. Not so much my vocal singing technique, how I approach the music of Queen in general, although I am excited about releasing very soon a singing masterclass video series in collaboration with vocal coach Chris Lipe and Produce Like a Pro's Warren Hewitt. That's coming out very soon, and we get real nitty-gritty about how I sing, real granular, um, especially about how I sing the music of Freddie Mercury. That's coming up very soon. Stay tuned for that. But I wanted to talk to you about this microphone that I used for this recording. It's my newest microphone. It's the Townsend Labs L22 Sphere. It's a special mic, and what it does is it emulates the sound of sought-after vintage microphones and also awesome, very expensive modern microphones. And it does that at a fraction of the cost of owning just one of the vintage microphones that it emulates. I think it's super appropriate that a guy like me who often finds himself emulating another singer, that I would use technology that emulates vintage microphones. And so the people at Townsend Labs, I think, are the best in this field at microphone modeling. Um, I've tried various microphone modelers by other makers, and um, this one is my favorite. And they also make, in their microphone modeler software that you have to use in conjunction with the actual microphone, 
they do an emulation of a microphone that Freddie Mercury was known for using on a lot of Queen recordings. I think it was one of his favorite microphones. It's the AKG C12A. Now, I don't know for sure that he used it on Another One Bites the Dust, but hey, I thought, why not give it a shot? And I had the opportunity recently at Blackbird Studios in Nashville to try a real C12A that you can't buy anymore because they haven't made them for decades. And I'm not really one of those people that likes buying vintage gear because you just never know how long it's going to last, what condition it's in to begin with. So I'm all about the new technology. And so I got to try an actual C12A and um, I love the sound of it. It had a nice, big, punchy low end, sparkly top end for that breathiness in vocals, but it also has a big scoop right in the area where tenor singers like me and a lot of female singers have a really annoying frequency that you just want to scoop out with EQ. And the C12A just kind of sounds like that normally. And so the Townsend Labs emulation of that microphone to me is just spot on. And um, I think it sounds fantastic on my voice. Um, it also sounds fantastic when I combine the C12A with a Telefunken 251, um, which is also one of my favorite microphones to use. And you can use them together in the Sphere software. It's really cool technology. I love this mic and I'm definitely going to be using it for the foreseeable future. So I wanted to give a shout out to the people at Townsend Labs. Great work on this amazing technology. It's a no-brainer for anyone um, who has a, a humble studio such as this one. You can have an incredible world-class microphone locker at your little fingertips and have a lot of fun with it. All of the amazing musicians that you saw in that performance of Another One Bites the Dust, all their names are down here in the description. I would encourage you right now to go straight to Produce Like a Pro's YouTube channel where Warren Hewitt has done two different videos on this song, um, one in which he breaks down how he mixed this recording, and you can also get the multi-tracks of this recording, which is really cool. There's also another video where each individual musician talks about how they approach their, their performance in this song and how they emulated their respective Queen band members' performances. So that's all very nerdy and awesome and musically educational. Have fun watching those videos. Check out some of my other videos where I do some other songs. I appreciate you guys. Like and share this video. Um, check out the Townsend Labs L22 Sphere. It's a great mic and highly recommend it.